Could you summarize season nine? Oh! Madhouse. <laughs> in there go. Paul Marie is always a madhouse. And you've got four drivers in contention for that championship. Jake Dennis wins in Mexico City. Pascal Verlein does the double in Diria. Dennis has thrown it. What the f was that? Mitch Evans wins two in a row. Mega throw! Cassidy wins in Monaco. Oh, oh there's our teammate. Not again. Oh, oh. oh. It's not fair. Where was I meant to go? Verlein takes victory in Jakarta. Let's go! his third win of the season. Yes! Who will be crowned world champion? It's game on. It's the penultimate race weekend of the season, and you've got four drivers in contention for that championship. Jake Dennis, Pascal Wehrlein, both representing that Porsche powertrain. Mitch Evans and Nick Cassidy representing the Jaguar powertrain. All those drivers you could see as being worthwhile and worthy champions. And Jake Dennis starts Gen 3 of Formula E with a superb dominant win. Oh my God, boys, what have we just done? Jake's been phenomenal. So consistent throughout the season. Five podiums in a row. Everybody wants to win. We're not anticipating it being easy by any stretch of imagination, but I think Jake is prepared for the fight. I've got the opportunity, I've got the package to really try and win this championship. It's ultimately down to me and the team, but I think anyone in a race car is going to be difficult to beat. Winning races, winning championships, that drives me. Pascal Verlein does the double in Diria. <laughs> Pascal Verlein needs points. When Jake Dennis couldn't get the win, or Cassidy or Evans couldn't get the win, they were on the podium. Pascal pretty much wasn't. Oh, and there's a hit! I'm out. No! He needs to put the pressure on Jake Dennis, otherwise this championship is very quickly going to slip away from him. Before this season, Nick Cassidy's best finish at the end of the season was 11th. Now he's up there, one point behind the leader, with two weekends to go. Nick Cassidy takes victory in Berlin and fires himself into title contention. I've been here before. I've been in a lot of championship fights, and that feeling is unreal. I'm not at all surprised with Nick Cassidy. He knows how to win. If you look at his record in Japan, and he won everything, and he didn't just win it once. <laughs> Come on. Mitch has done a great job this year. We say this every season. It's only a matter of time before Mitch Evans is a champion. The Jaguar flag falls. Evans wins. Magnificent win for Jaguar. His luck towards the end of seasons when championships are up for grabs has been so bad. Mitch Evans, the man to beat in the title fight, looking to secure him and Jaguar's first championship in Formula E. More five lights are on. We go green in Berlin, and Evans doesn't move! It must be really frustrating for him. It's frustrating watching because you know that he's made very few mistakes himself, but again, finds himself close, but maybe not close enough. Round 13 of the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship comes to you from Rome, a double header this weekend. No, dear. <laughs> what is it, grip? Is it grip? No. Cricket. Oh, that's quick. Yeah. Yeah. I remember this thing initially last year, these phones, they ran wide. You just have to like drive like a spot off the wall the whole time. Let's go. We've got a single point between first and second. Only 32 points between first and fourth. So technically, it's very much up for grabs for anyone in that top four. Poor. I think every race now is quite important. We've got a massive fight. The tension in the paddock is more than I've ever experienced. Soon it gets dangerous, we've got to go to the next set of front. Do you understand me? It is really palpable. You can feel it. But coming into 
the weekend in Rome, Mitch Evans was the guy that a lot of eyes were on. He'd done the double the previous season. Evans wins again in Rome! This is the only opportunity to keep the championship title fight alive for him. Right down, and we're underway. Good start from Mitch Evans off pole position. And there's a bit of damage there, Fairlight. Championship contender. Someone drove in my back. Why? The rear's completely fucked. Disaster for Pascal Verline. You bet. Like this, you know? Yeah, but come on, slow down, it's yellow. I slow down, I slow down, what the You didn't slow down, you crashed into my back. Well, of course I crashed, when you break, I yeah, guess I could yellow. see. Yeah, it's yellow, it's yellow, you see the yellow flag. Yeah, slow down. So then slow down. I slow down. It just fell away from Pascal. His chances were done. Right now, Fenestras leading Evans, leading Rast. Another crash, it's a Jaguar, it's Sam Bird! Sam Bird has crashed out! Oh, oh no, that's absolutely huge about Kim Mawaini! Into the side of him, red flag is immediately out! Yeah, it was big. It was certainly very scary. You okay, mate? Being stuck in the middle of the track, facing the other cars, when they're going through pretty much a flat-out corner, and they've got nowhere to go but hit me. Oh, my God. You okay, buddy? You don't ever want to see stuff like that in motorsport. <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. For sake! Whoa, that was the scariest moment of my life in racing, I think. Right, yeah, our car was on fire. No, it is. You saw it actually on the camera. The first hit, the flame. Okay. The worst case scenario. Um, so, yeah. Right. No, no, okay. Yeah, no, thanks, man. And sorry, man. Huh? Is that right? Is that right? Oh, yeah. Is that fun? Right. Remarkably, the contenders for the driver's title were pretty much the only ones able to avoid that drama. The World Championship was significantly determined in this weekend. Round 13 here in Rome, back underway. Cassidy to the inside. Does he go through in the second? Yes, he does. And this is going to be crucial for the championship. It's now damage limitation time here for Jane Dennis. Can he salvage fourth place? Across the line comes Mitch Evans to win for Jaguar TCS Racing. Come on! Who's the king of Rome? Yes! Come on, maximum points! Yeah! Mitch Evans closing the gap down at the top of the title battle. The sweet victory feeling is going to be somewhat short-lived here. Round 14 to come here tomorrow. Three out of the top four title contenders out of the front two rows of the grid. It's a good start from Jake Dennis, immediately crosses over to try and thwart the charge of Nick Cassidy. Cassidy on the outside. Oh, oh Mitch Evans goes and over onto the back of Nick Cassidy. The two title protagonists collide. Oh, come on. What the Disaster for Envision, disaster for Jaguar on lap two. I'm so sorry, guys. That was, that was my fault. Can you keep going? Oh, you can count on one hand how many mistakes Mitch Evans has made in his whole Formula E career. It isn't many, but it was a big one. Sorry, mate. I'm okay. so impatient. Yeah, it worked. Uh, it's feeling good as well. Yeah. That could be title over for the Kiwi. He caught the tyre and it launched him into the air damaging his car and effectively ending Nick Cassidy's race as well. Please check my damage. 
May I just, I'm super sorry to go. Jake Dennis was then firmly in the box seat. What a drive it has been from the Avalanche Andretti driver. Led every single lap. Jake Dennis comes across the line to win round 14. It's all eyes on the title fight at the front as we head to London. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, see you in the podium, and here you are. <laughs> Going into the final races of the season, it goes without saying, this is Jake Dennis's to lose. London, please. <laughs> what a place to have a championship finale. It's such an unusual circuit. London is a big event for me. I think the pressure is going to be high. Yeah, I'm very confident. Uh, obviously, coming off the back of the podium. His mindset going into this weekend, that's a tough one, because he has got that points lead. But it just takes one bad race for this track. Your bigger risk is getting caught up in someone else's accident. The pressure's always there, man. The races are getting tighter. They're getting more competitive. Predicting the winner is so tough. I don't know what happened. Oh, contact between the two! What the hell is he doing? Oh, he's incredibly close. That one man will be the face of a sport. The other man will be forgotten. We talk about the Drivers' Championship. We've talked about it first. But the team's championships what pays the money. The stakes could not be higher. Everybody just stand by, just stand by. This is a joke.